Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna bring y'all upgrade on the uh, 6 that I'm building for the truck. Show y'all some things that I've done to it. I told y'all that I would carry y'all step by step as I come along with it. And uh, so far I've got the pistons in it. And uh, I got some new parts that came in. And I'll show y'all those too guys. Let's get started. Here's the motor. I got the pistons in the motor. I got all the pistons in it. Got all the rings filed. And um, got the motor mounts on it. I gotta put the wheel pin on it. And, uh, but I did this one a little different than the Nova. The Nova's aluminum here and aluminum here. And then the heads is aluminum and the intake's aluminum. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I paint this black and this black with some black heat paint. And then the heads will stay aluminum and the intake's aluminum. But uh, I got some parts that came in. So my MSD box came in and my worn harness and then my intake, intake came in. I went with the Holly on this one. Um, and then and then the, I got the Elder Brock Victor Jr. on the Nova. But, uh, I'm gonna try the Holly on the truck, see how it does. I don't think it's much uh, RPM range different between the two. But um, the oil pan, I got the oil pans come in. Um, I got to get it put on, guys. But uh, yeah, I got some new parts in for it. Just got to put them on. But uh, I just wanted to bring y'all an update of what I've so far how I've come on the motor. But uh. But yeah, I've got all the pistons in it. I got yet to put the flywheel on it and the back cover. Which goes back here on the LS. Um, but yeah, it's come along, guys. Um, once I get everything together, um, I'll probably do another video on it once I get the heads on it and the intake on it. And the uh, wheel pan. It'll pretty much be built just about ready to sit down in the truck then. And then like I said, I got my box. Uh, hey guys, this is the same box that's on the Nova. And it's uh comes with the carburetor. But I bought this as a package deal. It comes with the box and the intake right here. And I wanna say I paid 724 tax and all, because they're charging me tax now. Uh, I paid about seven twenty for it, um, and then I want to say the oil pan was two forty five from Jigs, and this is the GM LS swap oil pan. So if you wanted to order one, guys, I, I got it from Jigs, and it's the GM LS swap oil pan. And as you can see, it's lower than a factory oil pan, so you can have ground clearance. But uh, it comes with the oil pan, as you can see, it comes with the pickup tray, well I said the pickup tray, the, uh, the pickup tube, um, it comes with the uh, it comes with a windage tray. comes with the oil stick and it actually comes with all the bolts that uh to uh to bolt to bolt your windage tray these bolts here is to bolt your windage tray down which is this this goes at the very bottom of the engine and and it comes with the bolts it comes with the oil pan and the gasket so guys that's not a bad price um it's not a bad price for $245. But yeah, um, I'm gonna take in, uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna do to it is put the oil pan on it, get the oil pan on it and get the lifters down in it. I got the lifters over there too. I uh, just hadn't stuck them down in the motor. But I'm gonna do the lifters on it uh, probably next and put the oil pan on it. And then I may do the, the heads next. But uh, it's coming along. Yeah, it's coming along, guys. But, um, 
just wanted to bring y'all a small video today guys of how the truck's coming along and uh, I'll keep y'all posted on the next video um, make sure you hit that subscribe button guys and I thanks for all y'all that watches my channel and um, I'll see y'all in the next upload thanks